Hey guys, Adam Fennig here with Fennig Equipment. You're tuned into the Talking Shed. Hey, behind me is a 31 foot uh, 2200. The 2200 is uh, a popular tool that we've been talking a lot about lately, mainly because of those black upright pieces you can see. Those are the hydraulic shanks. Um, I'm gonna turn this camera around. We're building this tool in the shop right now. We're gonna dive in, show you the shank, show you how they work. And uh, in the meantime, check out some videos that I've done of this thing running in the field uh, to show you what the shanks are doing. So I'm gonna jump down, turn it around, and we will talk about this 2231. So <clears throat> you can see we've got the 22 inch five bolt hub assembly here. That's the independent coil. That's the magic coil that gives us that jack hammering effect that I always talk about in all these videos. But let's focus in on this hydraulic shank machine piece of it. Um, here's your cylinder. Um, this shank is adjustable. You can change your depth here, but mainly your depth is in relationship to the complete depth of the tool. So raising and lowering the tool is your main depth adjustment, but your max and min options uh, are in those holes. So that, that is what the point looks like. That's a chisel. A reversible point so if it gets worn here you can flip it over and you've got another side that you can you can run that's a heavy-duty cast uh, point and so I don't even know the measurement on that thing but I do have tape measure here looks like it's just a tick over two inch width point maybe right at two depending on where you're measuring it, because up here it's about two and a half. <clears throat> but what that point does going through the field is amazing. Um, of course, you don't have to run that thing all the time. You can hit your hydraulic lever, drop them whenever you want to run it, maybe a high traffic area, maybe a tight spot in the ground, and you can raise it up for the rest of the field. A uh, sweet feature that they're putting on a lot of these is this hydraulic fore and aft. So you don't have that hard to turn turnbuckle uh, anymore. You can do it now with a hydraulic lever. That is pretty sweet. Um, but yeah, we just uh, haven't got this tool quite wrapped up yet. Thanks to the crane, uh, the guys lifted these coils up into this these housings here today. And they're working on getting the rear harrows and baskets on right now. So here they've got the crane hooked to this set of harrows. These harrows are completely in charge of the leveling of the tool. Um, you can't see it now because it's not fully assembled, but there's a handle on here that adjusts how rigid these run. The more rigid they run, the tighter they're gonna be on the ground, the more aggressive they'll be and, and the better they will level. Now you can't always run them rigid because if you run them rigid in high residue, say fall corn stalks, you're just gonna drag. So you run them as tight as you can without creating those beaver huts through the field. Then of course that uh, rolling basket, 14 inch rolling basket will get mounted on the back. But getting close to being finished up on this 2231 headed to Michigan. So that's what we're doing today. Thanks for tuning in.